Hey guys, it's uh, Adam here. Uh, again, I'm solo. My wife is just out at the moment, and I'm gonna go pick her up in um, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes. So I'm gonna keep this one um, short, or I try to. Every time I try and keep it short, it always still gets close to the 30. So I'm not sure what's going on. So it's a really hot day here in, the, in Vancouver, in BC, up in Canada, surprisingly. Um, it does get hot uh, uh, for about two of the months, July and August, and today it's close to 30 Celsius. I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit, but um, it's hot. So I have the fan behind me. Um, so if you hear a, a buzzing noise, which you probably won't, I can probably edit it out. Um, so it should be fine, but if you do, yeah, that's what it is. So I had a message today. Um, do I need to say anything before I start? My wife has the amazing spill, so I don't really, sometimes I get lost at the beginning. But um, let me just thank you for the great comments you gave on my last video. I really appreciate that. Again, appreciate you praying for me. Uh, I actually mean so much to me. I really need them and my wife needs them. So thank you for lifting us up in prayer. And um, yeah, I'm feeling better. Uh, some days are tough. Um, some days are good, but it's just all in my mind. The battle that I'm having is in my mind. Um, and even anxiety itself is, is, a, is, a, is a battle of the mind. And it's just a bully that manifests as a physical, but in reality, it's just a mental. So, um, yeah, I just keep working through it and getting stronger. Praise the Lord. And um, But one thing I did want to start, uh, because... I'm actually going to be talking about um, today the things I've learned to uh, battle in warfare. And I was on the way back from the gym just now and, and this radio presenter said this, it says, and I'm paraphrasing, it's, I, I don't I know it, um, I can't articulate it word for word, but what he did say is God uses uh, us in our weakness. And he said it way better than that. And he probably said it like this, he says, God doesn't need your strength he needs your weakness to show his strength and um, again I feel like I, that's my own words um, what I remember from it but it kind of hit me to um, God doesn't want you um, to show himself through your strength because you can boast in your strength but you can you can you can but it doesn't look good when you boast in your weaknesses right it makes you real, it makes you relatable. And it actually is is good. Um, there's a crow out there swarming around. Um, it actually is good when you boast in your weaknesses um, because that's when you become real and that's when you become um, relatable in a sense, especially when you're sharing the gospel. People, people, are, they, they people wanna know how real you are. So, um, where was I going with that? Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, so that's what I'm going to share today is the things I've learned through warfare, for warfare. And I, I had a message, another message I was going to do today, but God was like, no, you're doing this message. You promised them it's going to be this message. And um, yeah, here it is. Um, but yeah, uh, what else before I start? Yeah, I think I've got hit all the nails on the head. Yeah, like I said, um, yeah, let's just do this. And again, this is going to be uncut, unedited, just it's easy. It's easy in editing. And um, I think that's it. Okay, so let's jump right into it. So things I've learned to battle against warfare. Okay, so these are in no particular order. I've just listed them below. Uh, and but I do think the, the most impactful one is the last one. Okay. So number one, actually they're all impactful, but for some, re for some reason I felt the last one was the impactful one as well. Um, number one is go to the secret place and seek God's face. So a good friend of mine um, taught me about the secret place and uh, he's been, we've been speaking uh, a lot about this and going back and forth from voice notes. Uh, so I, I, love, I love that brother, you know, he knows who he is. And um, I just, yeah, bless him for blessing me. And he told me about the secret place. I kind of never really heard it in church. Like, I don't know why. I don't know. Maybe there's some kind of 
you know, when people in the church have disagreements, but this is, it makes sense to me. So the secret place where you go, you have to go and seek God's face. Because when you seek God's face, the Holy Spirit will pour out his oil onto you. And um, the secret place is, is uh, uh, Psalms 91, right? And, but so this is my points. It's a place where you are free from distractions. Um, I use, for example, I use my bedroom and I put a candle on and I close the curtains. So I'd, I set the I set the atmosphere, you know, I set, I set the environment. Um, I don't always put a candle on, but I, sometimes I just like to, it, it just, it just sets, I don't want to say sets the mood, but yeah, but um, whatever, you know, it sets the mood, you know, but praise the Lord. Um, Get some, play your favorite worship songs and sing them out loud. I like to put my headphones on because for some reason when I sing with my headphones on, I sound better. Uh, maybe because I can't hear myself, but that's fine. Um, I, I'm, not, I'm not a good singer, and, but I do try. And I pray, I pray. One of my prayers is, Lord, give me a voice of an angel. So if it's not on this side of the, of the, of the, of the, of my time, it's going to definitely be in heaven for sure. And um, what is it? What's that saying? Uh, in England, we used to say, um, I've got a voice only a mother could love. So, And she does love my voice, my mom, so that's pretty cool. Um, uh, by seeking God's face, he will pour out his oil on you, the Holy Spirit. Um, and many breakthroughs will be in a secret place. Uh, healings, deliverance, etc. 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 And built off the Psalms 91. And what my good brother told me is he painted it like this. He said, we're, we're a vase. So remember I was talking about a few months back about the vase and it's cracked and then God puts his light in it. And that was my version. And but God gave him a vision as well of a vase. And his, it's a vase with ping pong balls inside the vase. And these ping pong balls represent trauma, pain, anxiety, um, abuse, um, scars, hurt, shame, I think I said that, but they're all, they're, they're all ping pong balls uh, or table tennis balls inside the, the vase and it's all filled up with that. So as you pour out God's oil, as the Holy Spirit pours out His oil onto you, it's going to, as you know, ping pong balls, they always stay at the surface, they don't sink, right, they're too light. So as the oil starts filling up, the ping pong balls start coming out the top to eventually that you're filled with so much oil that all the ping pong balls are, are at the top, are out off, are all out. And then maybe there's like one or two at the top, and you just come in and you can scoop them off, they're easy to get out. So the idea here is as you see God's face, you fill yourself with oil. And in that secret place, dance, move, or lay down and, and surrender. Whatever you feel, whatever you can do. I mean, if you're going through warfare right now, it's hard to dance, you know? It's hard. Sometimes you just all you can do is lay it. That's okay. That's okay just to lay there. And I'm telling you, you you will go into that secret place like a mouse and you and and you will come out like a lion or a lioness. Um, so praise the Lord. So that's number one. So number two. Number two is uh, asking God for his strength to endure what you're facing. So again, I heard this from a, um, it was a comment and um, I don't want to share the names just in case I don't want the names to be sharing, but it was from a comment uh, from when I shared my anxiety testimony or uh, I can't remember the title of the video it was called, but um, anyway, so it's um, don't face your situation on your own strength because you will only get frustrated but ask God for his strength because he is undefeatable so the idea here is um, instead of praying for God to give you my strength to overcome the situation and and just so we can get comfortable and if we can go back to normal that's not what God's doing God is allowing you to be strengthened with his strength because as you take his strength on your strength is going to raise up and your strength is going to grow because you're going to need that for your next battle. Like David didn't just fight Goliath at the beginning. He fought a bear and a lion and, and wolves, you know, that tried to attack, attack his flock. So, I mean, I mean, fighting the lion and bear, I mean, that's, that shows how strong Goliath was because Goliath is stronger than them. So, 
God prepares you for the, the battles, the finales, but you don't start with a finale, you start with battle one and battle two, but in that you, you grow and, and your scars, your scars are memories of, of victories, you understand? So um, uh, most of the time, and again, maybe I've already shared this, but I just want to go through these points just in case I missed it. Uh, most of the time we pray to God uh, to take away the pain so it can be comfortable. Again, we should be praying, God, please give me your strength to endure the pain, this pain. Uh, this, this will, uh, he will answer you every time you ask. So every time you ask for God's help, He will provide. He, he is the provider, you understand? He will be there in our troubles. Uh, God wants us to become stronger through our trials and not stay the same. Victory to victory, strength to strength. He wants us to grow, us to grow. Um, and that last point, uh, okay, two more points, or well, one point and then a scripture. He doesn't want us to revert back to our old self, but being a new, stronger creation to fight the next battle. And so read Philippians uh, 4.13. So that's point number two. And um, I had all these points on, on um, Patreon. So I'm just reading off my Patreon post a few weeks ago. So, um, yeah, so that was point number two. So them two are already big ones and um, they, they keep they just keep getting better and better um, this is another from another friend another brother here in Vancouver he taught me this one and it's uh, Thanksgiving and praise so and this is you can do whatever minutes you want but this is what I do so as I wake up in the morning I start with 2.5 so two and a half minutes of thanking God for what he's done in my life uh, I can thank him Lord, I thank you for my car. Lord, I thank you for the sunshine today. I thank you for my shirt, because it's pretty cool, you know what I'm saying? Um, I thank you for the computers that we have. Thank you for our home. Um, and also you can thank him for the bad stuff. Like God says that in scripture that we're not just gonna thank him for the good things, but also for the, the bad things, the tough things. So I thank you for the, the anxiety that I've gone through. I thank you for um, allowing me to be broken. You know, so things like that. So I do two and a half minutes of that, and then I do two and a half minutes. This is a game changer. Two and a half minute of singing a song that I make up to the Lord. So again, everyone, you know my voice now. Um, but one day, one day, it's going to be an angelic voice. Um, you just make up a song from the heart. Lord, I love you. You are everything to me. You are so lovely. Like whatever, like whatever you want to do like sing from the heart two and a half minutes right and you can increase but remember it's a song that you make up from the heart and increase the length of time when you feel needed if you want to do five and five ten and ten whatever okay you want to do one and one it's fine as well uh read uh, psalms 100 that was the lane first to it okay number four uh is transforming and uh, transforming or, or renewing your mind um again this is a, a, my, my, my same brother that taught me number one taught me this and there, there is a conscious mind and subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind takes the truths from the conscious mind. Um, whatever you, whatever you, whatever you or someone says about yourself uh, could become a belief. For example, if you say you're weak, this could go into your subconscious mind, and you will think you're weak. So, for example, your conscious mind is. Uh, what you speak into is everyday kind of talk, right? And then your subconscious is what's below that. But if you're saying stuff in your conscious mind, it can easily become a belief in your subconscious. Um, and you know, and that's, that's I've been doing that this in this trial as well is allowing things that actually have not happened, but because I keep I've said them, I've fought them over and over. It just oh, it must you know, it just drops into there. But you can revert them. You can reverse them with God's word. And so, for example, did I give an example? Yeah. Uh, learn learn scriptures that relate to what you're facing. And when you when you feel a negative thought come uh, come into your mind, replace it with scripture. For example, when I feel discouraged in my mind and I'm struggling with fear, I speak Isaiah 41:10. You must learn um, to believe God's word instead of uh, broken thoughts. Are broken for so research Isaiah 41:10, and also the uh, scripture I put relating to this one is Proverbs 18:21. Okay. Okay. Speak out number five. Number five. Like look, number five. Sorry, five. 
um, speak out your his promises. Um, sorry, speak out his promises and declarations. 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 Uh, so, um, for example, uh, speak God's word daily over yourself. Uh, let our m minds hear His truths. I'm going to link uh, a declarations. Uh, I think it's. I think there's 57 declarations and uh, read them over yourself daily. Okay, number what time on 15 minutes. Okay, um, number six, surrender to God and resist the devil. This is key. Um, giving up control over different areas of yourself. Surrendering control is a daily thing. Resist the devil by not allowing his condemning thoughts to build and take them captive to the obedience of Christ. So the scripture is, is surrender to God um, and resist the devil and he will flee from you. And some translations say he will flee from you in agony. So before you resist uh, the devil, you must surrender to God. And maybe it's surrendering parts. Maybe you're not fully given it. Maybe, Lord, I surrender my, surrender my health to you today. Lord, I, I, res I surrender this exam I have today. And, I, and in regard, re surrender yourself to him and then resist the devil. Um, and then related verses I put is James 4, 7 and Corinthians 10, uh, two, sorry, and uh, 2 Corinthians uh, 10, 5. Okay, uh, 7, fasting. Choose something that takes our attention uh, like social media, coffee, movies, TV, etc. Um, I like to do food fast. It doesn't just have to be a total food food fast. It could be you could just decide to miss one, two, or three meals a day. So I just recently done a fast, and I started with missing three meals a day, and this had a, a window at the very end, and then um, I reduced, and it went on for a time period, and then I, I reduced it to two meals a day, and then I reduced it to sorry, and then I missed two meals a day, and then I missed one meal a day. So yeah, so. That's one way to do it. Um, but if you want to do a food fast and you have some health issues, you could try the Daniel fast. So just research Daniel fast. And if you need to still eat protein, maybe you can just add a fish or something. You know, just add your least favorite protein. Okay. So, uh, but I do like fish, so that wouldn't be good for me. Um, whatever you fast, make sure you feel like you're missing it. Like, don't do a fast where you're like, uh, yeah, don't even really notice it. Like, you have to notice that you're on a fast. You have to feel that because you you need to starve your flesh or your craving. So you need to starve your flesh from it. Um, you can share with people if you, like, so, some people say you can't share, but um, I would just put down, you can share with people that you're fasting as long as you're not boasting about it. As long as you're not like, well, look at me, I'm fasting. But like if you like you go you're going out somewhere and you go to a family house and you know you get into that awkward thing where it's like oh man they're gonna offer me food and I'm gonna just say no and they're gonna be like why because you always eat here and then you can be like yeah it's fine I'm fasting but as long as you don't boast in it which I don't think anyone would but maybe back in the day they did um, uh, when you fast in, uh, it makes our prayer life intimate with God. So as we starve our flesh, um, you know, even if we've got some strongholds over us or any demo demonic uh, oppression over us, they are getting starved out. So our prayer life is we're leaving that flesh and we're stepping into the spirit more. And so we pray and it's just so much stronger. So try that and then I'm gonna leave a great article to read uh, for number seven and for the last one okay you're on 20 minutes nearly is prayer this is the most impactful so again uh, I think it's the same brother that taught me number three show me this one or inspired me to have this one uh, so this one is prayer number eight uh, this is how we speak with God uh, like a child talking to a father so so this is prayer when we speak to God, speak to God like I'm, 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 the, I'm a child, like a child speaking to the Father. You know, he is our Father, and we're His children. And he loves us. Um, so don't come like you know, telling Him what to do. Like surrender. Be, be like a child. Ask, asking Daddy, Daddy, help me. Um, take pauses to listen to God through the Holy Spirit. 
So as you pray, take some pauses to see what the Holy Spirit is revealing to you. This one is very big. Uh, have different uh, people have different ways that they talk with, uh, talk and listen to uh, God, and uh, or listen to Jesus or the Holy Spirit. You know, just different ways. Um, I have started. Pr so this is what I've been doing recently. So I've been started praying for an for one whole hour. So did my friend inspired me just to pray for one hour. Uh, I start. So I have my stopwatch. And then, so I start with Thanksgiving. I start with that Thanksgiving and, pr and praise, so that song I make up. And then I choose just one thing uh, to pray for, for the breakthrough. So Lord, Lord, help me overcome my anxiety. So I don't jump, I'd stay on that, in that, within that hour for that one thing. It could be 30 minutes, it could be 15 minutes, but just do an extended time. Like I think it's the minimum is 15 minutes, really. Uh, but go up to an hour. If you can go more, go more. And, um, ah, oh, da, 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 da. And uh, uh, pray for the breakthrough in something, and allow the Holy Spirit to take over. So the Holy Spirit will take over at some point. So as you're praying, the Holy Spirit will will just you can feel it. It just boils up and takes over. And you just you just I don't know how to explain it. It's just beautiful. And it's just not, you know the Holy Spirit has just wrapped His arms around you. Uh, on that one, I have uh, verse reader Jeremiah twenty nine twelve. Uh, there's a lot more that can be added, so a lot more can be added. So in the comments below, add uh, anything I've missed or anything that you do to battle against warfare, anything that I could add to my points. Um, yeah, we're, we're a team here. The reason I wanted to release this uh, um, a video today and this message because I just felt the Holy Spirit wants us to be um, prepared. And I really felt that there's a lot of people, like I've said over my videos over the a few for the last couple of months, the body is under attack. The body of Christ is under attack. Praise the Lord, because God is about to release something on this earth. Is 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 what I've is what I've been listening to. Is is what I listen to a few prophets, and I hear that it's a common denominator. Is God is about to do something now. We can know God is about to do something, but we don't have any clue about timeline. So I don't know the timeline, but I know, I know the body is under attack, and I know God is strengthening the body, and I and I just don't know, and and I know there's going to be a why and a reason to it. So praise the Lord. Um, so that's why I'm releasing this video today is to equip you, equip you, and prepare you uh, to fight back. And you know, our weapons are not worldly weapons; they're heavenly weapons. And and this, what I showed you today, are heavenly weapons to fight back. Put your armor on. Pray Ephesians um, over yourself. Um, where you know, just put on your breastplate, your belt, your shoes, your helmet, your shield, your sword. Put it all on. You know, I know some days it's hard. We forget to pray that prayer over ourselves. But um, just just encourage yourself. And there even a few things that have just come to mind. There's also I do prayer walks around my neighborhood. And I just read script. I got, so I do seven laps of my uh, block. And for the first couple of blocks, I listen to worship music. And the, the remaining blocks, I just, um, just read scripture out loud. So that always changes. But you know what? If I never went through what I've been going through since January, I wouldn't have known this and because I wouldn't have needed to do it. And some of you today are wondering why? Why am I going through the fire? Why? Um, it's why because God loves you and He has a plan. And um, He needs you. Well, He doesn't. Yeah, He does need you. He wants you. He's a Father. He wants you to be with Him. And, you know, God could easily like start moving the pieces around of this world like a chess game but he doesn't he doesn't because of many things a free will is given us and he wants us to do this together so yeah if you are going through the fire um be encouraged that uh, god chose you for this because he loves you and um yeah and i know it's hard i know it's hard you got this you can do this um also 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 Okay, so that's the message. Um, Twenty-four minutes. See, see, I said, I said, I'm not going to do thirty-minute message. Always, the time goes so fast. Um, so, 
I, uh, yeah, that's another thing. I, I'm on Patreon. I just released a, a, a written word. It took me about a year to complete it, uh, with you know going through all this stuff and I finished it yesterday and I linked it to a music song so if you want to find out what I've been writing and posting I'm on Patreon and um, yeah it's I, I find Patreon um, a great way to support us so if you are looking to support us please jump onto Patreon and you know I, I would love to get back to every single question but for me I'm, I'm a slow writer I, I write good but it takes me so long to write so if, Forgive me if, if I'm asking you to jump on Patreon. It's just, it's not as many comments. And you know, if it takes me an hour to respond, um, I know it's, yeah, I know I don't have to feel guilty for taking the time, right? Because of work and stuff, but whatever. For you, that's why I release these messages. That's why my wife releases these messages. Even though we go through warfare, releasing these messages, but that's it, we're at war, this is a war. We, we didn't sign up for a little picnic. We signed up for a great battle and just know that we have victory. And when Jesus rose from the grave, grave he rose victoriously. And so did we too. So, so, did, so, so did we too. So praise the Lord. Okay, let me pray for you guys. Our Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for this word today that you've given me. I pray, Lord, that these points, Lord, that you will use them to bless people. You will use them to give victory. You will use them to come again to, to combat in warfare, Lord. Holy Spirit, I pray you go to anyone, Lord, that's struggling right now, and Lord, you love them. You 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 equip them. You you pour your oil over them, Lord. You um, allow them to seek your face, your beautiful face, the King, the King. Ah, oh, Lord, you are so wonderful. Lord, thank you. In Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Okay, guys, I think I'm done, but I always miss stuff out. But you know what? That's all good. Okay. Love you guys. See ya. Bye.